What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we'll be checking out yet another Garden Warfare 1 class. Of course it is going to be the Fire Chomper. I've been meaning to show him and the Chomper for a while. I think they're literally our last two classes to show off in the Garden Warfare 1 classes, you know, whole thing that we're doing. But it's just been taking me so stinking long because of the fact that you know, we've been so busy with all of the other Garden Warfare happenings. It's been sort of a busy few months for Garden Warfare 2, which I am plenty happy about, don't get me wrong. But either way, the Fire Chopper is rare. Fire Chopper belches flames, dealing fire damage over time. <laughs> he looks so stinking cool. Like, he's one of my favorite looking Chompers for sure. I'd say he's probably tied with like Count Chompula when it comes to looks, but uh, yeah, with that being said, oh yeah, and of course Disco Chomper. Why don't we go ahead and customize him a little bit? I don't really know what we might wanna do to make him look good, but something fiery for sure, like, I mean, the, the smoky bacon sort of makes sense, but like, let's see if there's anything like more fire base. It looks like it might be like actually flaming. This is a new item that we just got for the arcade set, but hmm. The fish hook and hat does match with the colors, and we might wanna go with something like that, because I don't think there'll be anything that is gold, silver, diamond, or anything that I'll exactly like. But um, I think we'll have to go with the smoky bacon funnel, but just because there's smoke coming out of it, and obviously that makes sense for you know a guy who's on fire. So for right now, let's do the smoky bacon funnel. Now the teeth, the teeth are an interesting one. We don't want to do anything that's too color clashing, now don't we? We want a, we want a really nice looking fire chomper. Now that's the idea going on here. So let's try to find something nice, and preferably something we haven't used too much before. Uh, honestly, like, not too many of them fit incredibly well. Like, this ain't too bad. I don't really like the green on top of the red and orange. Even though I'm just now realizing the little green coming out of the bacon. I don't know why is that so. Who wants lettuce on their bacon? <laughs> oh, we could do the Scrumptious Cracked Rock. I actually have not used this before. Very weird looking. You know what, let's do it. Let's do it, let's use the Scrumptious one. I didn't even know he had Scrumptious teeth. But, um, and the bandana might work. Let's look at something we might be able to do here. And the propellers look weird. I don't I don't really like the propellers as an item in general. The tacos might work if we want to keep with some food themes going on. Like he has bacon on his head. He's got gummy teeth and then he's got tacos as wings. Um, What else do we got though? These are new, wait. Well, I don't think we've ever used these to breezy backside. Wow, that's actually cool. The, the uh, art on there is like a chomper dragon. And I think that's about it until we get into silver and gold stuff. So I think that we will go with my idea with the taco. And then tattoos. Tattoos, I don't think we have anything that's gonna really make him look all that flattering that we already haven't used and it just, you know, all of that. Just because of how he's designed. <laughs> the Star Society looks cool. Not gonna use it for this character. That actually looks pretty cool. The medieval sunrise. It's like little tiny details. The mud's not that great. The yellow goop, the scaly chomp. Then it goes into silver stuff. Okay, then I'll go ahead with the medieval sunrise because it actually looks really nice. All right, we got a really weird looking chomper, but that's exactly the idea at times. We'll use the chomp cannon, we'll use burrow, and we'll use normal spike weed ability, gestures. I, th I think we have a few new ones. Let's do Zen, and then, actually, I don't think we do. And then we'll use chewy. <laughs> Just, so he's chewing on his own teeth, right? And then we don't have any upgrades because this is actually our first time playing him on camera, I think, except for a few zebra challenges. But besides that, he's looking pretty darn cool, I think. And I think we'll have a good time playing the fire chopper. All right, so here we go. I know a lot of people say that the fire chomper is their favorite out of all the chompers, which is weird that I've taken this long to get to it. It's just one of those ones that, like, I like the range chompers. I just honestly don't know why it took me so long to get to this one. But I mean, oh, that was good. I mean, if I'm not doing one, I'm doing another one, right? So it's weird that, you know, the last two classes we do at the show up are both chomper classes. And I think that's because there was a week where I skipped. Just, you know, showing off the choppers because I was showing off the disco chopper. Already getting two packages to start things off is pretty good, though. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, just, I mean, it's weird that we're almost done with all the Garden War for One classes. I've been taking a long break, so it sort of felt like we were done, but we're not quite done. The chompers aren't finished yet. But after we do this, we'll do the normal chomper, and then we should be all finished with every Garden War for One class, which is very cool that we've shown off each one at least once. I definitely need to play more chomper on my own time, just because of the fact that, you know, I just don't really do it very often. We gotta do a lot of level ups if we ever want to find ourselves, you know, 100%ing this game. Now I was about to revive you. Okay. Ooh, can I goop the same? Oh, I could. Wait, no, did I? I think I just got the same sign just twice. That's great. Okay, let's get you if you don't notice me. Okay. I wouldn't mind getting a times two vanguard streak every time I'm alive. Okay. Oh, can we get you? No, you ran away. Let me get some of the spike weeds down. 
The chopper can be fun. It's just one of those things where it's just like, it's just never really my thing. Oh, I got you good there, dude. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. Oh, man. This is my first time playing Good Warfare 2 in like basically all week. I've been just like so busy with like non YouTube stuff. It stinks when I'm busy with non YouTube stuff. It makes me miss YouTube too much. But I love the look of like our character. Must be like super easy to spot. But you know what? If I'm out playing you, that doesn't matter. Let's. I don't know if that'll land. Oh, that was a little too low. Of course, it's hard to stay accurate with more long distance stuff like that. Oh, somebody got spike weeded. Cool, cool, cool. So we're doing really good at the start for vanquishes. Like usually chompers are some of my least favorite classes to get level 10 with, just because they're really tough, but so far so good. This guy didn't even see me hop up right next to him and eat his buddy. So I will gladly take advantage. <laughs> this, this is way too easy. I saw an imp running by, but I don't see him anymore. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go around this way. It looks like most people have respawned for the next capture point. But this is a pretty fun map for the chomper, I'd say, because there are a lot of twists and turns you can sort of hide around. Like, you know, there are just some maps where it just it doesn't really work out great for the chomper. You know, like I'd say like Moonbase Zine isn't like the best chomper map, especially in specific spots, like the first point. It's just like you can't get there without getting vanquished, usually. You can't get to that first point without horrible things happening. But on a map like this, you know, like I just hid behind this car and then came around the corner and was able to do just fine. Like there's a lot of opportunities to be tactical, which I like. And of course, that just means, you know, some maps are good for some things that aren't, you know, for others. Ooh, can we get you? There you go. Times five vanquish streak already. Oh, oh, I almost got taken out there. This is all kinds of dangerous. He's looking for me. I'm gonna go underground. And that's another thing. It's like if I'm being attacked from above, which is sort of a big problem with chompers, right? It's just because they can't get, you know, they can't jump very high. They don't have really many ways to get up on platforms and stuff. So if you have the opportunity to hide under things, like that's really good. I apparently landed it there, not enough to vanquish him though. But let's plop down here and then, oh, can't get you, because you're already down. <laughs> okay, this isn't working out perfectly, but okay, there it goes. But still almost double digit vanquishes, which is cool. Uh, let's get back in there. But yeah, I've just been, you know, busy with other stuff, so I haven't been able to make videos. It hasn't been that I haven't like wanted to. It's just one of those things where some days, you know, people really rely on me for things and I'm trying to just make everybody happy. Okay, can you guys back off? I apparently not, Mr. Plumber. <laughs> oh boy. I'm responding though. I'm responding. Thank ah oh, <laughs> he was almost able to too. Whatever. If I respond I get there faster. And I could probably sneak up on either the soldier or the goat, depending on which one notices me. Thank you. Delicious. I've never tasted goat as a chomper before, so that's new. Hmm, what's going around here? Nothing. So the teleporter's on this side, so I'll try to keep it well protected. If there's any zombies around here, I'll try to make sure they buzz off. That way, if there is a rose, which there should be, yep, there's a nice rose. We can try to make sure she gets the teleporter up. And that'll be really nice for the chomper, because then he doesn't have to waddle all the way there. All right, so let's go ahead and bada boom. Oh, almost, so close, so close. Well, let me uh get this. I'm gonna go around this corner. I don't think the scientists will know what to hit him or any of these zombies for that matter. Oh, but I got the scientists. Okay, good, good, good. And I'm on the point. I took, oh, I'm taking a little bit of it with the kernel corn. That's good. Let me try to spike weed this when I can that way. Um, you know, it's one of those things where if they try to stop me, oh no, it's a super guided ultra ball. Watch out. <laughs> we showed that off in a very recent video. So I know during that video, like when I posted it, some people were actually commenting that they didn't get the super guided ultra ball and instead they got a different ability, which they said was some kind of rose ability. I know that, you know, there was stuff I talked about in the previous episode about how there was like a rose piece for the party rose that wasn't actually for the party rose, it was some weird glitch. But if you got some kind of rose ability, feel free to let me know what that is, because I haven't seen any screenshots or video of that. So if people are telling them the truth, then I have no idea what they're talking about, so I'm interested. Right, let's go ahead and, oh, I can get the plumber. Get my sweet plumber revenge before this all-star charges me. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. As long as I can help push the point a little bit, all the kind of stuff, I'm doing what I wanna do right now. And honestly, we're making a good mark. I mean, we started at level three. We're already at level five, so it might take us a little bit of time to get to level 10, but. I think it'll be an easier road than most others. And I tried to earn up another 50 stars, you know, so I could open up the 50 star chest, but unfortunately I ran out of time for that as well. I don't know, I've definitely been behind with the mystery portal chests when it comes to the mystery portal events. But this, you know, this portal event that's coming up, the next one at the end of the month, 
it starts on the same day as Thanksgiving, so the chances of it being, you know, like a holiday boss mode again is possible, or it just being a holiday related thing. Because, you know, you can actually go to the Garden War for Two website, and there's the event scale under that most of you are now aware of at this point, I hope. Um, and it'll tell you exactly when the mystery portals are going to be open. And, can I? Oh, no, I got taken down. That would have been good, though. That would have been real good. You know, if you check them out, if you put your mouse over them when you're looking at them, you can tell, like, we knew what the cats, it was gonna be cats versus dinos before it was even revealed because it said so on the website. And same thing with, I think, um, the Battle of Accuracy. But this last one for the month, it just has a question mark. So it could be anything. It really could be. So I'm excited to see what it is. Okay, let's wait here for a moment. Oh, I heard an imp. I just didn't see an imp. Okay, we're enough, we're enough. But I think getting the teleporter set up is really helping our team win this pretty well, so I'm gonna keep on helping our team out as much as I possibly can. Oh, do you see me? I think you saw me. Dig now, dig now. I think he's waiting for me. So instead, I'm just gonna get you. Please don't tackle me. Thank you for not tackling me. I don't see why he isn't tackling me, but he ain't. Oh, boom. Oh, that almost landed. It's the splash damage, if you get it close enough, it only does 50, but when you land it, it does 100. And I, I honestly enjoy it more than most of the goops, just because it's more of a skill shot, and that's always super duper fun. But I've been playing a lot of PVC Heroes recently. That game is always just so much fun. Like, honestly, it's, it's easily my favorite mobile game of the year. So far, I mean, not every mobile game of this year is probably released, but I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be my favorite mobile game of the year. Not only that, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, dig, dig, dig. And it's like the cool thing about this fire chomper, wait, let me finish one conversation before I start another. But yeah, I think it's probably my favorite mobile game of the year. It's just fun to play. Like, I keep posting more videos of it. You guys keep enjoying it. The more I, like the farther I get into the game, <laughs> thank you. The more I get into the game, the more I just wanna play it, which is great. And it's one of those things where it's like the higher level I get, the more, it's just, I just wanna be able to have everything in the game. Just like I, sort of how I want with this game is that I want everything. Luckily, it's easier to get everything in PVC Heroes than it is in this game, I think. I don't think it's gonna take me another couple hundred hours like it is in this game. But um, I was saying with the Fire Chomper, you know, not only can you know you just swallow people and dig and do all that kind of stuff like you can with an average chomper, he does the fire spray damage, so you could do damage that way. And I usually don't do much, and I really should, but you can even hit multiple targets at once if you know the situation sort of lends itself to that. There are a lot of people going through the teleporter right now. <laughs> it's, it's very crowded. Not surprised if we'd have to go through a queue. But yeah, soon after we're done showing off the Garden War for One classes, we're probably gonna start doing some uh, legendary hat showcases just because you guys have been saying you wanted them and I want to do them. It's always fun to do those kind of things. And it gives me excuses to play more classes that I don't typically play. Oh, gotcha. Poor All-Star didn't even pay attention. Or more like poor Super Brains. Here, let's get you like this. You can see, you can just spray him, and that takes him out too. Good. Oh, I almost got that. <laughs> there was a lot going on there. So one thing I was thinking of that I thought would be cool is, like, thinking of a different type of variant. You know, like, we see a lot of different types of variants, but the three main ones we see are typically either fire variants, toxic variants, or electric variants. Like, those are the three main types of variants you'll see for most Garden Warfare 2 classes. That and the ice variants as well. Um, so those are the four, actually, so that's a better way of putting it. Um, I was thinking, like, what would be a good fifth variant? For me, I think the one that I thought of that thought I thought would be really cool would be some kind of water variant. Like, imagine if you shot the enemy and you cover them in water, and, and now they're all slippery. So, like, maybe their controls aren't as good. Maybe, like, when they turn, they sort of slip in place a little bit, and it's just, it's harder to run away. So that'd be really great for a chomper. Imagine if you could do that. Instead of, you know, gooping somebody, you have some kind of water blast that makes it so that when they're trying to run away, they end up, like, not going the direction they want to. Like, it's really hard to control. It's not impossible to control, so a skilled player who practices with it can still get away, and but it does make it harder to get away. That would be really cool in my opinion. Just something different, you know? Because when there's a bigger variety of things, this is sort of one of those things where, you know, the gameplay gets more fun and interesting because there's just more to do, more to try, and more things that might fit your play style. That was a good job cannon right there. Right between everything. It's super difficult to stay, you know, accurate with it just because of the reticle. You know, it's just not very specific. Oh, you were about the super multi ball or super, you know, whatever it was. But I stopped it, I definitely stopped it. We're doing great. I mean, it looks like we're about to lose this game, but that's totally cool. Like, I'm happy 
with what we've been doing, vanquishing wise, is a fire chomper. Like I wasn't expecting to do this well. So this is a good start for sure. Going into overtime, but oh, we got it. All right, time to catch with the train yard. Let me try to, oh, that's probably not gonna hit anybody. Yeah, I don't think so. I wanna hide from the mechs. Mechs and chompers usually don't mix too well for my knowledge, just because you know one thing, you can't you know eat the mechs, because they're too big, too big for chopper mouth, can't eat. Okay, well, this didn't work out too well. <laughs> but we get the respawn right in front of them, so if any of them are trying to retreat, run away, we might be able to beat them up, but chances are my plant teammates will get to them before I will. I'm gonna spawn in some stuff if I can, just to keep things going. Here, boom. Oh, I missed that entirely. That's okay, because I can still beat him up like this, but he's actually doing a good number on me. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I did get the assist with it, though, so that's good. A lot of people using microphones today. I'm glad I have it all muted. Usually you don't see that many people doing it. That's different. But I'm just, you know, I just wanted to sort of express how glad I am with how this game is being supported, right? Like, I was worried that, you know, like, the game, like, you know, like, a lot of people would like it and check it out, but there wouldn't be too much DLC or too much support in this game, when, you know, like, when it first released, that, you know, you know, eight or nine months from now, which it is now, and it's been nine months, um, I was worried that, you know, there wouldn't be too many people interested in the game anymore just because, you know, there wasn't enough DLC support, there wasn't enough content being added to the game, but there's constantly stuff being added to the game, and it's great, I love it. Can you stop it, young man? Please and thank you, I guess not. I mean, I guess if you can land the chomp cannon on, um, oh, can I get you, or not? Man, this is too confusing for me right now, I'm backing up. But if you can land the uh, chomp cannon on the imp directly, it's a very tough thing to do, ouch. Uh, you can, you know, just get a one-hit KO. And now I'm unrevivable because of this guy, but that happens. So let's go ahead and go on through again. And I think we have our first upgrade. Of course, it's just a health regeneration delay upgrade, so I'm not sure how much it's gonna help us. Oh, come on! I, I noticed it because I saw the light coming, but I guess I didn't back up soon enough. So it looks like I got smished. All right, let me go ahead and get the character upgrade then. And that should be nice and good. I really do like the idea of one day having every character level or like max promotion though. Like it's a lot of work to do. Like it really, really is. It's one of the hardest things to do in this game. I mean, it is the hardest thing to do in this game because it's just it's just a lot of time commitment. All right, I got you a little bit there. I'm gonna finish you off with a fire blast or not. Man, you are tanky for a scientist. Maybe because you're, you're healing yourself. That makes a lot of sense. All right, when I can, once I'm done swallowing this dude, I'm gonna dig. And we're gonna get nice and ready for this. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get you, get you, get you. Come on. Oh, come on. I gotta get him. Running away too darn much. You coward. Boom. Oh, that, how did that not land on him? Maybe he got taken out before it finished, but I don't know. That was a little weird. And if I could just stay accurate. It's like it does like 10 damage like per shot, which is not very fast. So it's like, you can't really take somebody out on the fire damage alone. It's usually you need like teamwork for that. Which is why I'm usually relying more on the chomp cannon, the digging, the you know, the sneaking up behind them, all that kind of stuff seems to be more helpful and more useful to do. I'm almost getting to you. I'm almost getting to you. Come on, you're mine. Thank you. <laughs> this guy is not even playing the game. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I wanna help. <laughs> I couldn't even help. Oh, how did I miss that? I will never understand, but at least I'll, I still got him. Level seven. Look, we're making really, really great progress with leveling up. Maybe after this we'll play a few Suburbanation games, because I do need to do that for a quest. So after this uh, turf takeover, we'll go ahead and do some Suburbanation and see how things work out there. Hopefully I can continue getting as, just as many vanquishes, that way I can um, you know, just have some good old times getting this level 10. Oh boy, I noticed this guy flopping out the corner of my eye. No, 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 don't attack me, please. I'm, well. That didn't work. He's a funny looking cat though. <laughs> Luckily I got the shared vanquish. I just like how you get bonus experience from getting a shared vanquish. Like, not being good enough to finish him off yourself gives you extra experience. And, and some ideas, right? I mean, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe that's just my thoughts. Maybe I'm being too negative. Gotta stop that, I ain't healthy. Bada boom, can I get you? Oh, I can't get you! Sorry buddy, but you can't stay still when there's a chomper around. You gotta keep moving, even if you are just healing yourself. Ooh, I can get you. Easy, easy, easy. Yum. Oh, out. <laughs> they were waiting for me, but at least you ain't getting your imp bag. That one's mine. You guys have beaten me up, though. It's only one to five with them. I mean, there's just like, I feel like super brains are really good with 
like, I don't know, it's like super brains and choppers are a little weird, because it's like, like, if you've used your jumps and you've used, well, I mean, you can jump as much as you want, but if you've kicked away and that's not working for you and you're gooped, you're sort of out of luck, but it's like, gooping the super brains is really hard when he's already in his spin, that's like when it's really easy to get him, because you can still chomp him while he's spinning. Most of the time, he'll just do that, kick away. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh my gosh, you kidding me? There you go, we at least got him there. I know there was an all-star. Don't know where the all-star went. He's right here. Oh, bada boom! That didn't hit him. Fine then, buddy. You know what? <laughs> I just won't deal with you. I'll just wait here, and I'll just dig. And now I can deal with you. Like, you can't beat me up, because I'm Doug. Ooh. Uh, come on, what? Okay, took it. He tried to do the imp punt counter, but it didn't quite work for him. I'm trying to hide, but I thought there was a corner to hide behind. Oh, okay, I'm still alive somehow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got him there. How did I get him there? I will never know. I will just never ever know. But hey, they're actually hurting the zombie right now. I might be able to land my chomp cannon on it. Oh, he moved. That's a little tough. Don't be moving. You're a robot, just stay still. It's, it's probably what you can do best. There's a hunk of metal and circuits and wires and stuff. So I mean, really, as a chomper, my idea shouldn't be to try to hit the uh, circuits or anything. Really, I should be vanquishing people who might be vanquishing the plants who can hurt the circuits. So like, I'm gonna be playing the defensive game is the idea. Bada boom! Oh my gosh, it almost got him. It almost got him, but hey. Oh, what? I don't know what happened there. Honestly, I think he got stuck in my spike weed, and then I was able to, you know, get him from just up front, but that was just really bizarre. I don't think we're gonna pull on the win with this one, but I might as well, you know, make a good dent with vanquishes. Ugh. Oh, is he gonna pop out that way? He's not. We almost have 40 vanquishes. Like, that's insane for a chomper. Like, in my opinion. I mean, maybe for some of you guys, that ain't no biggie. But for me, that's pretty insane. Oh, and he got me good there. It was a little too up close and personal. He had his heals, so he didn't take any damage at all at the end of the day. That's sort of stung. That's okay. Almost a level eight. If we can get 40 vanquishes and I can maybe get into level eight, that'd be a good way to end this off. Oh, no, no, no. Dig, dig, dig. All right, so he walked over that potato mine. Don't you be teleporting when I was directly under you. That just doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Thank you for the vanquish. I deserved it. I'm gonna put this here, but these, these scientists are being very active and it's making it very hard to get anything done. Oh, you, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> you just can't 1v1 people. Even if the fire damage is good damage, other people do just as good damage, you know? So it's just like, it doesn't work that way. So it looks like we're gonna get a shade under 40 vanquishes and a shade under level eight. But that's okay. No matter what, that was a really good game. I was happy with that one. So we lost. It's totally cool, though. Maybe next time we'll win. But the plants very unoff, or yeah, very often they lose here. So it's just it's one of those things. Okay, so apparently I'm level eight now because I joined a suburbanation game where the score was three to 99 and I didn't even do anything before the game ended. So I don't know how I got the experience, but okay. Oh, come on, get you. How did I not get you there? Okay, now I got you. Right as your jackhammer ended too. That is such bad luck. I'm so sorry, dude. But we just gotta complete three suburbanation games at some point or another. Not all in this episode, but my goal right now is to just get some good vanquishes, try to get ourselves a level 10 as soon as we can. Of course, in the next level, we'll get ourselves another character upgrade, which I can only imagine it's probably better fire damage or something. Like, I really don't know what it would be for a chomper. Typically, I don't remember. Oh, okay, that almost landed on him. It gave me a little X like it landed on him, but nothing really came of it. Oh, jeez, come here, little goat. Come here, oh boy, come on, get him, get him, get him. He's gonna get me here, ain't he? Oh no, he ran, okay then. That was your first problem, no. No, <laughs> leave me alone. Ooh. Oh, I tried to get him out of the air there, just pluck him out of the air, didn't work, didn't work. That's okay. I'm gonna go around here. But they are definitely winning right now. I'll do what I can, like, I wouldn't say that the Chomper is the best for Suburbanation. He isn't the worst, because he can do some decent point protection with like spike weeds and stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm the best for a chopper suburbanation. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> Not working out so well. We can always try, we can always try. Suburbanation game modes can be ridiculous, just like Gnome Bomb as well. Like both of those game modes can be just really crazy at times. Sometimes it can be very uneventful, depending on like what's going on. But sometimes they can just be so crazy, especially Gnome Bomb. We've had a crazy few episodes of Gnome Bomb before, where you know, 
we've had to like go into 20 minute deathmatch mode and then I was the one who was able to save it and win the game. That was cool. I think it was with the astronaut. I can't remember that one sign. It was a scientist, but I'm pretty sure it was the astronaut. Either way, we started good with getting two vanquishes, but now I'm not really. Gotcha! Oh my gosh, that is not working out for me. But I got you. Oh, and you're not paying attention, so I'll get you. That's probably the biggest perk to a spray-based chomper, though, right there. I mean, I guess that's not really the case. I mean. Because if you chomp an enemy to death without swallowing them, you don't have to do the swallowing motion. Same thing is with the spraying, it's just usually you have a higher likelihood of taking them out this way. But I mean, spraying chompers and chomping chompers, it just really matters on your play style, I guess. Like, he's like a, is he okay? What? Okay, I am all kinds of confused. What was that about? <laughs> Okay then, never mind. I was trying to vanquish, you know, Electro Brains, but disappeared out of thin air. All right, so we got this one captured. I'm gonna sneak on over here, because I know there was a Captain Deadbeard right somewhere over here. Oh, that was good. I love it, I love it. Let's try to sneak over here and get you if I can. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So we got two, well we have one point. The second point that we had is getting taken over. It looks like we're not one in this one, but the game is not over. We can step out suburbanate and then, you know, take that to the win. That'd be cool. Chances of that happening are very, very low, but not impossible. I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna do this, and I missed it. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and take the point since nobody's on it. You know, that's just what I'm gonna do. Can only hope there's still people just defending point A. I can get point C because nobody seems to care at the moment. As soon as somebody cares, I can dig underground and try to take it that way. But right now, at this very moment, no one cares that I'm taking a free point C. I mean, they're about to win, so maybe it's the whole mindset out we're about to win anyways, but there you go, I actually got a vanquish too. I got a spike weight assist, very cool. All right, and oh, 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 I missed it. I tried, I honestly tried there. And that's it, GG. You get back here, engineer! Ah! <laughs> All right, we're definitely getting our level nine this game. Definitely getting it. And the world is still loading in. Okay, that's better, that's much better. So let's, of course, get an easy first point, like I'm sure they're doing, yep. But looks like we're filling ours up just a shade faster, so that's good, that means that we're gonna get our first point before theirs. Oh, there you go. Just a shade faster, but it's still very, very important. Maybe that'll be the difference between winning or losing this game. Here, can you stop it? Thank you, sir. I'm gonna keep going this way. And, ooh, somebody's taking B. I'm gonna try to go, I'm like Operation Steel Point C right now. That's gonna be my idea, which is over this way. People are trying to follow me around. Nobody's really succeeding. Hmm. All right, then I'm just gonna keep going this way and see what we can do for take point C. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's not gonna get him. Not even close. Shouldn't have even tried, should've just kept going. Cause there's no one here protecting this point. Not currently, at least there's a corner corner over there as well, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. It might've been a bad idea to dig here. No, chop, early Dr. Chomper, but corner corner, you gotta come back and take the point with me, dude. Or not, you're just, <laughs> happy Sunday, just taking it off. There you go, so we're definitely in the lead so far. I got level nine. You do get like basically the same experience as a Vanquish for taking the capture point, so it's worth doing. All right, let's go around this way. Also, how are we doing with this? We've only completed one out of the three. So, I mean, even if this is the last one we do, I'm totally cool with it. Hmm. Let's go, oh, okay, not down that way. <laughs> Guess I'm not super remembering this map. But let's go back, it looks like they took our original point A. But so far, we're doing pretty well. We got a good lead boost. Like, you know, a good lead in points and everything. Oh, no, nah, that's not gonna get him. But now I'm gonna dig. He's probably going to hop off the point, or not, okay. Whatever, I guess uh, he got distracted by the speed shooter. Good teamwork, my friend, good teamwork. Now let's get some people on this point. Can you not shoot at me? Thank you. Oh no, pea shooter pal. I got you, don't worry. Oh boy. Come on, got him. So we're suburbanating right now, which is great. They're trying to take point C. It's a sort of a hop, a skip, and a jump way over there. I don't really mind being the mobile one. Like that's sort of the, I feel like that's the best spot for a chomper, right? In suburbanation. Is that most people should be protecting the point, you know, and staying ground and sort of have like an even spread of everything on each point. But the chomper should be like one of the more mobile people in the game where they're just running point to point, getting, you know, things done at each one. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. 
Because a lot of times you'll see that I'm able to get easy points because see, people simply capture the point and then completely abandon it. And that's really not the strategy you wanna have because you'll lose every point you got. You wanna be able to make sure that some of them are protected. If you're only fighting and never defending, it's gonna be just as bad as only defending and never fighting, you know? So it's you need to make sure both on the team. Oh boy. So let me just try to hide here for a second because there are guys everywhere. We've taken this point, so he's gonna be a little tricky. Oh, I knew he was gonna do that. I knew it. But he thinks I'm still over there for whatever reason. Oh, I almost got it. Not quite done. Let me respawn my friend here, if he doesn't mind. Oh, nope, he respawned. Okay, he did mind. Why he minded? Who knows, who knows? So, oh, well, look at what we're doing. Everybody's abandoning the point. But I mean, we are winning. So we do have the, you know, the room to make that mistake. Now that we do have the lead, we can play more aggressively. Choo, 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 that's a win train. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that one. That's a good one. Wind train, coming in. Let's uh, go down here. And I don't see anybody, okay, that's good. Just gotta make sure everything's taken care of. I wonder what they're doing if they're not taking these points. I mean, they're, they're the ones playing too defensively. If somebody's already taken A, and I'm guessing they're gonna try to take C or B soon, but I don't know, like maybe we're just, we are outnumbering by, them by one. There really aren't very huge teams, so that might really be playing in a lot. We got suburban, Suburbanation again, Suburban Suburbanation. Oh. oh, that's not gonna get him. It can be really tough on the the um, chomp can. I would say it's by far the hardest chomper L1 thing to you know do because all the other goops are sort of similar in their reticle and how they move, but this one like it takes a second to wind up and you have to be able to predict the other enemies, you know, like whatever your target's movement is. So that's the real tough part there. We're gonna go ahead and take point C back, the point we just fought for, then left in the dust because that's just what we do. Put that there. I don't know why, I just feel like it can be. I think that one's mine as well. I'm just trying to litter the point with them. And once again, they did the same thing. Either that or the person who was getting it, you know, got vanquished. The poor soul, the poor soul. I'm going to emote on top of it. Here, let's do a little dance in your honor. So you also get 100 extra experience for neutralizing the point as well. So honestly, you're getting a little more. You're getting a vanquish and a half. I think we might be able to get level 10 here. If not, we'll probably buy some of it with stars, but either way, it'll be nice and fun. There's an imp over here, and where are you at, Mr. Imp? I really want to land the chop cannon on an imp, but I don't think it's happening. And it's like most of the zombies haven't even touched point B. So that's a little crazy. Oh, I'll do some reviving. Okay, don't do anything you might regret. I said don't do anything you might regret. Okay, you didn't regret it. <laughs> I just feel like I had a highly, higher likelihood of getting, you know, a good amount of experience from reviving than I would vanquishing in that moment, so that's why I went for it. I can get you, no problem, no problem, I missed. <laughs> Not a problem to miss. Not a problem, except for all the problems it comes with. Like, being stinky. Oh, no, 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 don't do it, do it, do it, don't do it, you're doing it, I don't appreciate it. Oh boy, come on, oh, I got him! Oh, I'm just gonna be able to get his cannon here. But, <laughs> I got some help from some friends, that's good. I also don't know what we got for our level nine. I wasn't really paying attention, so I'll try to see it when I can. I never end up seeing it for some reason, it's just weird. Hey, dude, hey, dude, hey, dude, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes, you are mine. Doing pretty well in the language, just six of them so far. Like, I'm not expecting something crazy, so I'm always glad to see that, but we've taken point A, so that's good. I'm gonna spit out some of those there. I really should be putting them on the point, but also scattering them around can also be helpful just because of the random chance that an enemy might run, on, run over them. And, okay, we already won, hooray! <laughs> All right, two GG, you know, good games of Suburbanation. There you go, so there's the level 10 I was looking for. Not bad, not bad at all. Most of it was earned in game, which is pretty darn awesome. Usually that doesn't work out so very well with chompers, but I had a lot of fun with the fire chomper. I, I like, things turned out a little better than I expected. I do want to show off one thing. I still haven't checked what, you know, character upgrade we got, we got ourselves the speed upgrade, which, you know, that makes sense. Like a speed upgrade is always great for a chomper for many, many obvious reasons, but. With that being said, let's go ahead and upgrade this dude. I mean, we still have one more chopper to get, and you know which one that is if you, if you you know, I don't know, pay attention to me and stuff. Which means that, you know, we actually do have a new Gun War for One episode coming up soon. And, oh, I didn't know that you got 
Okay, I'll do you too, there you go. So there is a level 10 as the fire chomper and the second to last chomper we have the left, left to show off. Very soon we'll have our chomper and you know, basic chomper showcase. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point in the video, make sure you comment Fire Zebra so I know you've watched in the video and that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.